Good evening, this is Gabriel Jack, and welcome to BJC Mitzvah Day number 87. Using the Sefer Chinach. Mitzvah Day keeps us on its way. I'm a little under the weather, so sorry for the deeper voice here. But this is also found in Parshas Mishpatim in the second book. The prohibition to subvert Jewish people to idolatry. As the Pusik says, Be careful regarding everything I have said to you. The name of alien gods you shall not mention, nor shall you mouth your mouth cause it to be heard. We are commanded that one person shall not call other people to the worship of a Vodazor, idolatry, and encourage them to engage in it. This prohibition applies even where the caller himself does not worship a Vodazor or perform any action on its behalf. The mere calling alone is prohibited. This person who calls others to worship a Vodazor is called a Madiach, a subverter. And so did the sages say in Tractate Sanhedrin, the Torah, the Torah statement, and the name of alien gods you shall not mention, nor shall your mouth cause it to be heard, is the scriptural injunction for a Madiach. They also stated so in Mechota the Rashbi. Okay, the underlying purpose of this mitzvah is well known. Its laws are found in the 10th chapter of Tractate Sanhedrin. The Chinuch has previously explained that one who encourages others to worship a Vodazara, idol worship, <coughs> is known as a Madiach. Now Chinuch qualifies that definition, distinguishing between a person who incites many others and a person who incites just a single person to worship a Vodazara. One who incites only a single person in this manner of idol worship is not called a Madiach, a subverter, but a Masis, an instigator. And in Parsha's A, in Prohibition 21 of that Parsha, which is number four six bits in number four sixty two, we shall write with the help of Hashem the scriptural injunction of the Masis. However, if one cites two or more people to idolatry, he is called a Madiach, which is the subject of the present mitzvah. The Chinach addresses why the Torah deals with sins relating to Avodazar with particular severity. Now that which you find all these distancing measures in the Torah regarding idol worship as well as the severity of its punishment to the extent that the prohibition of idolatry appears repeatedly as many as 44 times in the Torah, and that the Torah refers to Hashem, blessed is He, as being jealous <coughs> excuse me, towards those who worship idols and therefore exact severe punishment from them, must be explained. But do not think that the jealousy of God and these distancing measures were written from any perspective other than than for the perspective of the worshippers. For in regard to Hashem, blessed is he and blessed is his name, regardless of whether people worship him or they worship an angel or a celestial sphere, a star, or one of any of his other creations, there is no increase or decrease whatsoever in his honor, blessed is he. Because the ultimate honor and glory, which is Hashem's alone, is not increased or decreased by anything, and certainly not by the actions of his own works, that is, i.e. human beings, who are as creatures, men of physical bodies. Okay, I guess we'll pause here. Continue with this beautiful mitzvah tomorrow. Thanks for listening to the sponsor feature mitzvah 36100 of the gold. And we shall see you tomorrow.